Hey Popcorn Kit crew, you know what today is. Today is Taco Tuesday. And you know what else? I want to share that you are the greatest. You're the greatest to me. And I'm so proud of you. I love all of you. And I just pray that everybody's having a wonderful day. I love the Popcorn Kid crew. And I'm so thankful for each and every one of you guys. You know what we're going to read today? We're going to read Goldilocks and the Three Bears. This is one of my favorites, guys. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know if you like it. Press like. Press subscribe. Share the story. Show me that you like it. Leave some fun comments. You know I love hearing from the crew. Are you ready? Did you say I'm the greatest? Let me hear you. Let me. I am the greatest. Come on, kids. Let's hear you. And kids, tell your family to say the same thing. It's so important to say that. Ready? Okay, let's go. Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Once upon a time, there was a little girl named Goldilocks who had beautiful golden hair. She lived in a pretty house right at the edge of the forest. Each morning, she liked to play outside before breakfast, gathering flowers and looking at the animals who lived in the trees. One day, she strayed farther than usual. She skipped happily along the forest path. chasing butterflies until she was far from home and she was very hungry. Oh, you know what I'm getting ready to offer? Goldilocks can have some of our treats. She can have some of our treats, right guys? Sure. Just as she was thinking about that, it would take a long time to walk back for her breakfast. A delicious smell wafted through the woods. She followed it all the way to the cottage. Well, I wonder who lives here, Goldilocks said to herself. Perhaps they would share their breakfast with me. She knocked on the door, but there was no answer. As Goldilocks pushed gently on the door, it swung open. The house inside was very cozy and inviting. Even though she knew she shouldn't, Goldilocks stepped inside. <gasps> the delicious smell was coming from three bowls of steaming porridge on the table. There was a great big bowl a middle-sized bowl, and a teeny tiny bowl. Goldilocks was so hungry that even though she knew she shouldn't, she tasted the porridge in the biggest bowl. Ooh, she cried. This porridge is too hot. Next, she tasted the porridge in the middle-sized bowl. Yuck, she said. This porridge is too cold. So finally she tried the porridge in the teeny tiny bowl. Mmm, yum, Goldilocks said. This porridge is just right. And she ate it all up. With her tummy nice and full, Goldilocks decided to take a rest before she set out for home. She looked around the room for somewhere to sit. There were three chairs, a great big chair, a middle-sized chair, and a teeny tiny chair. She climbed onto the great big chair this chair was much too high, she said. Next, she tried the middle size chair, but she sank deep into the cushions. 
No, she said, this chair is much too squishy. So she sat on the teeny tiny chair. This chair is just right, she said, settling down. But Goldilocks was full of porridge and too heavy for the teeny tiny chair. It squeaked and cracked and creaked and cracked. Then crash, it broke into teeny tiny pieces and Goldilocks fell on the floor. Well, that wasn't a good chair, she said crossly. Then, even though she knew she shouldn't, she went to look upstairs. My goodness, this, she's just walking in somebody's house going all over. In the bedroom, there were three beds. A great big bed, a middle-sized bed, and a teeny tiny bed. She tried to lie down on the great big bed bed, but it wasn't all at all comfy. This bed is too hard and lumpy, she grumbled. Then Goldilocks laid down in the middle sized bed, but it was no better. This bed is too soft and squishy, she mumbled. And so at last, she snuggled down in the teeny tiny bed. This bed is just right, she said, and then she fell asleep. Now, whenever there is a house with porridge and chairs and beds, there's usually someone who lives there. And that was true of this house. Three big brown bears live there a great big daddy bear, a middle-sized mommy bear, and a teeny tiny baby bear. The three bears had made their porridge and gone out for a walk in the woods while it cooled down. At last, they went home for breakfast. Why is the door open, Daddy Bear said in his deep, gruff voice. Why are there footprints on the floor, Mommy Bear said in her low, soft voice. Baby Bear said nothing at all. They went over to the table and Daddy Bear looked in his bowl. Someone's been eating my porridge. He growled. Mommy Bear looked in her bowl. Someone's been eating my porridge, she exclaimed. Baby Bear looked in his bowl. Someone's been eating my porridge, and they even ate it all up, he said in his tiny voice. Daddy Bear stomped over to his chair. Somebody's been sitting in my chair, he growled. There is a long hair on it. Someone's been sitting in my chair, Mommy Bear exclaimed. The cushions are all squashed. Baby Bear looked at his chair. Someone's been sitting in my chair, he cried and they've broken it into pieces. Let's go to the, let's get to the bottom of this, Daddy Bear growled, and they padded upstairs to the bedroom, and Daddy Bear saw the rumbled covers of his bed. Somebody's been sleeping in my bed, he grumbled. Mommy Bear saw the jumbled pillows on her bed. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, she said. Baby Bear padded up to his bed. 
Someone's been sleeping in my bed. And look, they're still there, he cried. The three bears crowded around the sleeping girl and baby bear reached out a fuzzy paw to touch her golden curls. Goldilocks opened up her eyes. Imagine her surprise when she saw three bears peering down at her. She leaped out of the bed and ran down the stairs, through the door, along the path, and all the way home. And she never visited the house of the three bears ever again. The end. There's so much to say about this story. I, I'm going to wait and see what you guys have to say. Give me some of your comments. I'm thinking so many things about this story. Goldilocks, what are you thinking, little girl? Well, I have enjoyed sharing this story with the Popcorn Kit crew. I just love sharing fun stories with you. I hope you enjoyed it. You know what we're getting ready to do, guys. Give a hug. Give a kiss. And share peace and love. See you soon. Happy time.